there guys, this is me, Malorian, and this will be another War Machine Battle Report. Now this one here will be finally me showing off all my drudges. So I've been playing a lot of the 40 drudges and I haven't been doing the 60 as much because it wasn't painted. And then when I did do it painted, I got a smack on the hand because, hey, I promised to not be playing unpainted bottles and I did and so now hopefully guys this makes it up to you although I'm just realizing now that uh, even though these guys are all painted I still need to actually paint up more drudges for if the slavers make any more models so I guess the the horror isn't over yet uh, otherwise I am up against Legion here and this is going to be Rias so this one here I'm actually feeling feeling pretty confident with the Hellmouth is always an issue. I'll have to try and get something to it, but I can kill off those little tentacles pretty easily with the anatomical precision. Uh, he really only has the one serious heavy, the one Scythian, and so if I just go and make that one Rampage wrap or something and take him out, uh, spray away the swordsman, there's really not going to be very much left. So right now his spearmen are praying my left wrecker, but again, I kind of plan on taking them out before they even get a chance to attack my wrecker. So I also got to go first because he won the roll and wanted to be picking that side. Uh, I don't think it really mattered too much in this case. Uh, his side was a little bit better because he had that little trench there. Uh, but really, I don't think it really mattered who went first in this matchup. Uh, otherwise, on my first turn, because I don't need to worry about putting up deceleration, I just put three onto each of my wreckers. Everything runs forward. Although there's like a little dip where I'm staying a little bit back so the hell divers can't get me. Not the hell divers, the hell mouth tentacles can't get me. And uh, otherwise, yeah, I'm just waiting to see what he sends up my way. So one thing he decides to do that I think was a, a little bit of a mistake was that he kind of like just threw the tentacles in my face. Now, from the get-go, that's not really a bad thing. However, uh, they're outside of the command. And we talked about it, like, all right, well, if they leave the command, you're not doing free strikes or anything. Uh, but he really just wanted to be like kind of like pylons I had to work around. Now, I think that's a valid tactic. However, they're spaced out enough that they're not really doing their job. If all three of them were in front of my wreckers, okay, that, that actually does a, a wall that I need to kind of break through. But as it is, I think it was kind of more of a waste for him because what I'm going to do is just ignore them and go right around them. Uh, otherwise, what he does is he puts the rapport up onto the Scythian. I can't remember if he does any other spell. I think that's the only one he, he bothers putting out. But uh, yeah, the way he's kind of set up here is kind of just bunched around the middle. And I was kind of hoping that in doing that, I get all the swordsmen. Because I really want to feat, bring all the swordsmen together, spray them all off, and not have to worry about them. But it's not really like that. So I really felt this is the turn I want to feat. I want to try and spray off whatever I can. If I can try and kill off a lot of these war spears. And I'm pretty sure I can kill off that Scythian really easily too. I measured it out and I can get my wrecker around to be within 10 inches for, for Rampager, make him come up, and then with up to six adrenal flooded drudges, he's gonna go down. Now, he did not go down, and uh, the reason for that is that basically I went up and I ran over, and then I feeded, and I rampagered, and all that cool stuff like it was part of the plan. Uh, the first three charge into him and wallop him. I leave him on one box. And so then the second unit decides, well, I have other things I can work on. So I just adrenal flooded two of them. One went into the Scythians. I'm only missing on double ones. Another one went into a war spear. And as it turned out, I rolled double ones against the Scythian. And then he toughed against the war spear. So yeah, that was uh, a big waste. I was able to get one more spray onto the Scythian and tried to kill him that way. But uh, yeah, I just ended up killing up three of my drudges and then fail to break his armor. So yeah, uh, that's absolutely horrendous. Now you can just heal back his aspects and do a whole bunch of damage. And that's just really, really bad. And I just would have been so much better off having him dead. 
Uh, otherwise, on the right, I, or in the center even, I do spray down a lot of his guys. You know, I get a couple of the war spears, I get a chunk of his swordsmen, but not really as much as I really wanted. Uh, again, a big problem that I had is when I adrenal flooded on the right and went into his war spears, he was just really pulling off those tufts. Uh, three of his guys right now are knocked down because of tough, and, uh, you know, it was just kind of too bad. I was hoping to really have, I mean, if you really look at this picture and see three less war spears and the Scythian gone, I pretty much have this in the bag, but as it is now, he has a lot more meat, and I'm kind of worried how much he's going to be taking back away from me. And he actually does a really good job at trying to kill my stuff. Uh, what happens here is that between the Seraph and the Scythian, they're able to trample up and shoot, and he kills off both my leaders from the left side. However, even though that's the right idea to do, because they're the leaders of my slavers, and most of my guys are pretty good and close anyway, well, it doesn't really change anything. I still have all my leaders of the benders in the back, I can still adrenal flood, it's just I can't make more guys. So, uh, he did the right thing for trying to go after the right models, just kind of prioritize the wrong ones uh, otherwise the biggest thing that happened is that his little solo guy there charges in decaps my one wrecker there and almost kills my wrecker in one hit and so i mean once that was done it was really easy for him to finish off the wrecker but wow i thought he was gonna have to dedicate a lot more to killing the wrecker i put up for the the rampager uh and yeah he almost killed it trivially so that was really scary uh, otherwise same thing on the right the rake jumps in kills the leader from that slaver unit so all my slaver units are gone uh, but again that's not really the biggest deal I've lost quite a bit here actually when you look at it but uh, one of the things I want to try and do now is I'd love to start scoring on the right zone but Rias is kind of like stalking there uh, he's also going to pull back a couple of his tentacles, so they're back in command range. So I'm going to have to try and dealing with that too. But uh, definitely what I need to do this turn is I need to kill the Scythian. I want to destroy his objective and get scenario going. And if I can get a couple of Adrenal Flood guys into his Seraph too and just really hurt it, uh, that'll get that going. Otherwise on the right, I just need all this infantry to disappear. I need the rake to disappear and uh, then I'll be in a much better spot. And so if my last turn was disappointing, this turn was amazing. So basically, one of my units of slavers on the left just walk up to the Scythian, do a big combined melee attack, boom, he's gone. Easy. Otherwise, the, the two Bender units just buff an Adrenal Flood, one, that one other slaver unit, completely up. So they're like, all five of them are going crazy. And I'm able to line it up. So I'm able to get three on the objective, Kills the objective easy, putting me 1-0 on scenario, and then two of them got onto the Seraph and uh, cranked the dice and killed it. So I did not think I was going to kill it. I was just hoping to cripple it, uh, but now it's dead, and I almost scored on his zone, which is crazy. Otherwise, I do a bunch of spraying, killing off a bunch of infantry on the right. Uh, one agitator had to kill off one of the tentacles just to make it go away. I go over and I instigate and I use my wrecker to go over and kill the one rake. Uh, I am kind of in a danger zone but I just kind of need to be there and uh, otherwise you know I, I could have gone into the zone but I feel like Rias this is the turn that she's going to kill me so I just kind of stay back and at this point hey I'm still up one nothing in scenario I feel I'm up on attrition feeling pretty good. So on his turn, this is where he's going to start feeding with Rias, and this is where I got a little bit lucky. Uh, I didn't measure things out before, but I just assumed that my Wrecker was in charge range of Rias. It turns out that he was just out by like, you know, a, a quarter of a centimeter type thing, and he couldn't even make it to my objective. So basically where there's like this big gap on the my zone, well, that's where Rias could get to, and so that really stopped her from getting to Thexas. So after kind of being like, well, I guess that's out the window, he decided to go back the other way, um, charges in, slaughters all the guys I put into his zone, and so he's going to dominate on his zone now. So now it's going to be going one to one. Uh, otherwise, you know, he kills off a few more guys, but nothing really overly serious. I mean, at this point, he is starting to really be down on models. Uh, tentacles are now starting to come back and trying to make attacks, but hey, you know, Defense 14 guys are kind of hard to hit. 
But uh, yeah, you know, I am now really happy with this because now that Rias is way on the other side of the board, now Thexus can freely go into the zone and I can really start pushing this scenario game. So what I do is I just go up and I Adrenal Flood and I kill off everything else he has in the zone and I don't make any attacks against Rias. Even though she can't transfer and all that cool stuff, it's just not worth making attacks against her. So after I kill everything in the zone, I have the one slaver unit which is uh, still at half and I also have the overlord unit. So I'm actually now scoring on his zone uh, straight away all, all the swordsmen now, they're all dead. I got rid of the succubus too. Otherwise, I got rid of the last war spear. I kind of throw things all up there. Uh, Thexus just runs. Thexus just runs over to the tip of my zone. The wrecker is behind my objective, so he can't drag it to him. And uh, yeah, at this point, I'm going to score in his zone, dominate my zone. So now it's three to one. He could contest my zone, but I'm at a spot now where he just can't really keep this up. I just... The attrition is too far in my favor and I'm too far up on scenario. So what he tries to do then is just try and kill off as much as possible. Uh, he's able to kill off all three of the overlords that were in his zone there. Uh, and then also kind of gets over to my drudges as well. Uh, not able to score on his zone. There's just too much there. But uh, yeah, at least gets some revenge and kills quite a few models. Otherwise, same thing on the right. Just trying to make some attacks. Uh, kills off like the agitator but again nothing really serious and really he doesn't get anything into my zone so that means i get four points so now it's four to one and on my turn i just take texas he walks out of the zone and then tk's to moonwalk back into the zone and i dominate for the win winning five to one so i really felt this was a matchup that was really in my favor you know, with Texas being able to control his guys and me being able to trade up, I mean, things really worked against me where we talked about that one turn where easily I could have killed off a couple more of the War Spears, the Scythian would have been dead too, and I really don't know how he would have come back from that. And I'm just, I mean, not to, you know, like saying anything bad about my opponent, it's just I really feel this list does so well against Horde armies, and I'm so happy now that all these drudges are painted, and I can now play this legit. So anyway guys, thanks for watching. Please give me your thoughts down below on what you thought in the game or this list. And otherwise, uh, I got a tournament coming up this week. And so uh, looking forward to that. And that's going to be a five game tournament. So look forward to battle reports for that. And otherwise, we'll catch you later. Bye. Hey there, if you liked watching this video, please go down and give it a like down uh, below you here. And if you have any concerns or questions or comments, please put those in the comment section as well. You know, the best way for me to give you what you want to see is if you tell me what you like seeing and what you don't like seeing. So otherwise, thanks for watching and we'll catch you later.